I'm finally doing it. Here is a very highly requested video by you guys on Discord models. And if you're asking what those are, it's basically just a form in Discord or uh, for your Discord bot. You could use this for staff applications, um, I guess feature requests, uh, even for help forms, whatever that you could do with a form you could use models for. And today we're going to be using it to create an embed builder where you specify a couple of things you want in the embed and it'll put those in for you. It's pretty cool and I'm going to be using Nextcord for today's video uh, because I guess I've been using Nextcord for all of my, I guess, things in the past. I did switch over to Discord.py recently, but Discord.py does not have model stable yet, so I don't feel comfortable giving it to you guys, I guess. Also, one last thing before we start the video is if you could join the Discord server, that'd mean a lot. I really don't ask for this, but I'm really trying to get to a thousand members, so link down in the description. Anyways, hit the intro. Okay, so here I am in my Visual Studio Code. Um, and as you can see, I'm using Nextcord. Now there should be something up on screen right here and just, you wanna paste that in, right? I'll keep it in the comments also, but just paste this in into the, I guess, into your terminal here. Should be something like pip install and a bunch of like, it should be a GitHub URL. And that's where you can install Nextcord with the models in it. I don't know why it's not in the main version yet, but yeah, that's just, I guess how it is. But anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by creating a slash command because models can only be executed through interactions. So there are two ways to actually execute a, a yes model, either through a button, select, or actually not three, or a slash command. Now slash commands are the easiest because you don't have to go through two interactions while, because slash command themselves are an interaction. We're just gonna call this embed and you'll see why. I mean, I already told you why, but still, you'll see why. And then description, you can keep this as anything. So create a custom embed, like so. And so with this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, I guess we're also gonna add this, which is gonna be guild and score IDs. And the reason that we add this is because for slash commands, it can take up to an hour for the slash commands to actually go inside of all the bots. And so by doing this, we're just speeding up the process and it'll automatically be added to that. When you're adding this to production, then you don't want to keep it there. And then, you know, then it will automatically add it, but it will take some more time. And here, you just want to put in your server ID here. So I'm just going to put it in mine right here. And that's the testing server ID. And then we're going to create the command like usual. And because we're using, um, uh, because we're using slash commands, we're going to use interaction. So next chord dot interaction like this and then all this is, is is it's two lines of code literally you can even make this one but all it is is we're gonna name something called model and that's gonna be equal to actually we're just gonna make this one line of code await interaction dot response dot send underscore message and that will be a model or not send underscore message but send underscore model and that is gonna be embed a model and now that's not created yet so you will see embed model is not defined but that's all we're going to do right now so we're going to do class embed model and here we're going to do next chord model inside here and we're going to do an initialize stream so in it and here we're going to pass in self and you could pass in a couple of things actually here. So we're gonna do super. And inside the super, it's just gonna be once again in it. And inside here, we're gonna put in the name, right? So embed maker. And that's gonna be the name that goes on the top of the model. So you'll see it like around here. And then we're just gonna create a couple of attributes. So first one's gonna be self.em, which is gonna stand for embed title. We can't do self.title because that's already an attribute and that will cause an error. Trust me, I spent a day trying to fix that. And then we can do next word.ui.text input. And that's gonna be label equals, now this is just the label. So you can do embed title and minimum length so if you want to set a minimum length for it you can i'm just going to set it to two and maximum length could be something like 100 or 124 
Okay, now we can also do required. Now, if you want to change this to false, you can. I'm going to set this to true. And it's going to be a very basic embed builder. I'm not going to go into that much in depth stuff for here. And you can do placeholder. And this is where you can kind of put in directions. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do something like enter the embed title here. And then once you type, that'll actually go away. And then we can do self.add item. And it's going to be called self dot em title or whatever you name this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to basically just replicate this. But this time we're going to add a description. And you see a couple of differences in this one. So we can do embed em, em description like that. Pass that in here. And this is also going to be called I hope I spelled that correctly. And then here you could change a bunch of things. So the minimum length here will change to something like five. And over here for the max length, we're gonna really bump this up here. We're gonna keep it to 4,000. And then here we can do required equals two and place the embed description here. And I think I actually spelled that wrong, but it's fine. But then one more thing that we pass in here, and that's gonna be style, because this is gonna style be styled a lot differently. So we're gonna do style equals, and now it defaults to like very small style. And that's what we're gonna use for the title. But we want like a paragraph for this one. So we're gonna do next chord dot text input style dot paragraph. And that's essentially it. And that's basically it, right? We created a model. But now we're gonna have to actually have to hook up that model to some code so it can actually work. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're just gonna do async def callback, and that's what's gonna run after this is done. When you click submit, this is what runs. And it's, it's just gonna be the same thing here. So self, and because we are in a class, and this is gonna be interaction equals or colon next code dot interaction. And this is gonna return do an arrow function with this to none. To be honest, I have no idea why you do this. Uh, if someone knows, explain it to me in the comments because I'm not that smart. But we just have to do this. That's what the docs told me to do, and that's what the examples told me to do. And then once we have title, do something like title e dot and basically just this, right? Self dot em dot title, right? And instead of dot text, we're gonna do dot value. It's gonna grab, you guessed it, the value of everything. So we can do the same thing for here, and this time it's embed description dot value. And then what we can do is em equals next chord dot embed. And I think you guys know how to create an embed by now. It's going to be title equals title and description will equal description. And then we can just return await interaction dot response send underscore message. And it's going to be embed equals em. And that's it. Yep. This is it. So what we're going to do is going to click this little button right here. And we're going to hop into Discord and we're going to test it out. Okay, so once again, uh, please join my Discord server. Very close, just a couple 90-ish more to go. And it really helps out. But here we, you can see that the drone bot is actually online. So what I'm going to do is here, if you go drone, you can see the embed, right? And because I passed in the guild ID specifically, it's already in here. And we're just going to pass. It doesn't take any parameters and we're going to click enter. And now here you can see our thing, right? So it says embed maker and that's what we told it to do. And They'll also give you this warning, this stays here, but just don't submit passwords or something, or if you're doing it for me, I'm sure, but like, don't actually produ produce that. You might get like something through Discord and it won't be able to verify your bot, just like you know. But I'm gonna create a title. So we're gonna do something really simple. So subscribe to Glow Stick. Also, and you can here see how many characters we have left, right? So stuff like that. And also be sure to draw. To join the server. All right, something like that, right? And just click submit, and there you go. It created it into an embed right here. We could do this again, right? And there we go, right? The embed. You could put whatever you want in this, and it will work. And that's just models in a nutshell. I think you guys can do a lot better than this, and you know, this is just a quick tutorial to get you guys started. But let me know the creations that you make, right? Uh, send them in my Discord so I'll definitely react to them. And heck, I might even include them in a future video. 
But anyways, that's going to be it for me from today. Be sure to subscribe, join the Discord. Until next time, close to the See ya.